Hello, Odd Job Doer here, and today we have a, a special little operation we'll be performing, and the operation will be on this right here. Yes, yeah, so this here's one of the um, Disney's uh, Small World dolls, I guess. You push the belly, and it sings the song, you know, that we all know from the Disney ride. Look, her lips don't move. You can still her. And guess what? This one is from Japan. So you push it again. And now she sings in Japan without moving her lips. Right? Nice kimono. Nice shoes. Right? Not real wood. Now the thing is, if you're done playing through dolls and you, um... You know, want to want to try to make sure either either one if you play with them too much and the batteries have died, or if you want to store it and don't and if you're worried about the batteries from leaking acid, you want to get the batteries out. So, this is what you do: you take off the outer package, which you already did, and you slide this out, the whole box part here. Then you have on the back side all these little wiring that come through. Now, if you still want to keep it displayed good, keep these here on because um. And that's holding the hair back in display, but uh, undo these kind of clear wires. And then there's also a thing that goes through here that held on this kimono, which instead of cutting or breaking it, I just kind of uh, bent it up. You can see right there, maybe. Uh, you can't see right there. Either it's, it's like those little, uh, oh, those little things you get from clothing store that kind of punch through and they turn to lock it in. It's a little piece of plastic that you can normally break, but um. Eventually, I'm going to stick this back to the hole so it's uh, preserved. You know, nice. And then on the bottom here, there's a couple that hold the feet down. So you undo those two, and hopefully, she should turn out like this kind of. Ah, that's comfortable, right? Keep the neck held. And so when you get it twisted out like this a little bit, there is uh, a seam, at least on this one here, of Velcro. So you can, uh, you know, take this apart. Uh, there we go. So we open up the back, and there we have it. And this right here takes either a you know, micro or a P1 uh, Phillips. And so you just kind of get in there and um, unscrew it. Mm, very gently. And this here pulls back. Oh, don't lose it. And uh, there you have the batteries. So, they take those little coin batteries, which I don't know if those things ever do leak, but um, I'm going to flip this around and get my little screw rod to pry them out and uh, pop that thing out there. And you got three of them. Two. And three. And of course, you can test it out by, you know, rubbing her belly again here. And nothing. So, she's just sleeping now. And you can see it's nice and clean in there. Well, it's clean, trust me. And basically, you just put this back like so. Not like that. And, um,. You know, tighten the screw a little bit. You know, clean up any any mess that made from the batteries if there was anything. All right. Then you can fix your little kimono back. And um. All right, nice and neat there. And then uh, lay the victim. Ugh. Back like so, and then we'll just put these wires back to you know bind her hands back into position. Same with the feet, and tighten them around the neck, and then you'll tighten them all back in the belongings here, and make her presentable, and then back in the box where hopefully she does not get out and wreak havoc like other dolls have done in the past. Anyways, this says uh you know. This is if you have this kind of a thing. You also want to you know, put this thing back so it keeps the Komodo open. This one's already back, so this one here needs to be put back. But 
Anyways, what I'm trying to say is, if you want to, you know, preserve it, keep the batteries out, or if the batteries have died, you want to re-do the batteries, because these batteries here are, um, what are they? These are LR44s. And this one seems to be a little bit bulging, so. And it has a little crustacean around it, too. So, yeah, these, these batteries could quite possibly, you know, leak some acid. They're, um, you know, probably not the best brand to start with. They're probably cheaply batteries. But, um, there you go. LR44s. Different makers make them. Um, now you know how to carefully take this thing apart, put the batteries back at, put it back in display, or take them out for long-term storage, like uh, this one be doing. So, like I said, this is the odd job doer. And this here just happens to be one of the uh, odd jobs I do. And uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe. You know, leave some comments. And, um, you know, sleep well there.